You know Tiger never giving up. Uh, he said it, Brent, not a very good ball striking day. Well, no, not at all. There's 20 club professionals in this field, so the, you know, presumably there's 20 players in this field who don't play golf for a living, and yet Tiger Woods was dead last in this field from distance from the edge of the fairway. Nobody missed it by as wide a margin, and only one other player hit it further away from the hole on average than Tiger Woods. Worst in the field, basically, when you put those two together at, uh, at hitting golf shots, and his putting wasn't much better either. Well, Frank, he said it. Uh, he's struggling to take it from the range to competition out on the golf course, and he did appear to have a really good warm-up session today. Why do you think that is? He's not healthy. Uh, I'm not going to change my mind all of a sudden watching that. I, I just you know, we saw him last week. I've seen him during the course of the year, and you know we used to compare we used to compare Tiger Woods at his best to other people when they were average. Now we're comparing Tiger Woods when he's average or unhealthy to he at his best. Both I think are unfair comparisons. He's just not healthy. And, um, you know, like I said, I said it, I didn't think he'd start up. Um, he did. Uh, I admire him for that. A lot of people withdrew, um, including the defending champion, Jason Duffner. Um, he's here. He doesn't want to miss the cut, obviously, for four straight rounds. I will correct him on one thing, though. He's going to need to have to shoot something relatively in the mid-60s just to make the cut because it's going to be probably a subpar cut, par, even par at worst. Uh, but, Frank, you say he's not healthy. He, yeah. He sure looks healthy warming up. I mean, he was straight there. Have you ever had rapid. a bad back? Well, I, I no, no, no. No, you asked to quit. Have you I'm, ever had I'm, a bad back? I have. I'm just saying it, it didn't appear to bother him on the range. Are you telling me it's bothering him when he gets out on the golf course, yeah, it, or is it just lack of reps? And I, no, 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 I don't think it is lack of reps. I mean, you know, I'm not going to change my tune, you know, whether he's playing well or even if he'd shot 70 or 72 today. When you see the numbers like that that Brandel's just referred to, that's not a guy that's won 14 major championships. That's not a guy that won five tournaments last year. So there has to be a reason to me. Um, when he pulls out last week, when he's had back, surgery, I really don't know how much evidence somebody needs. Graham Dillette, and I'll say it hopefully for the last time this week, took 10 months to get over it. And um, I just think four months is way too soon. The, the rest is minutia to compare this shot or that shot. I really do. I wouldn't compare any player in the field uh, any other way than that. So to me, I think he has to, to make a fair comparison, you have to compare him to other people that have had similar injuries. Right. So you think it's physical, not, yeah, not I mental. Do. Brandon, I do. what do you think? I think it's technical, and the technical is bleeding into the physical. And, and I'm going to speak his language here. This, this is the way he talks. He's got so much forward shaffling now, and, and if, you're, if you're familiar with TrackMan, this is right for you. And if you're not, well, I, I, forgive me, but, but you can find this online. He's got so much forward shaffling that he comes into the ball very steep. Well, if you come into the ball steep, that puts your path out to the right. So to correct all those things and get those right, he's got to go to the left to zero out his line on TrackMan. Now, he's got all that going on. Now, here's where TrackMan lies to him because it tells him when he lies to the left and he's got forward shaffling, and he's coming down steep and he's got that path that's zeroed out that he's on plane, that he's got a good path, but he doesn't. He may have a faster ball speed with his irons because when he's got the forward shaft lean and he's swinging to the left, he's got faster speed with the ball with his six iron because, in fact, at impact, his six iron is a four iron. Now, with a driver, you can't do that because you don't have an effective enough loft to hit the shots you need to hit. So you hit high blocks and pull hooks. And to offset the loft that's going forward and aiming left, you have to figure out how to get the ball up in the air. So you lean backwards. When you lean backwards all day long every single day for hundreds of shots you're gonna hurt your back in 2000 his forward shaft lean was about this much different between where it is now and where it was then his forward shaft lean if this was a driver it was like this then it's like this now with a wedge he was like this then he's like this now and he's got all of these issues to figure out just to hit a shot straight and in the meantime all of that is killing his back and it's killing his game you spoke to him after the round. What did he tell you, Noda? Well, I spoke to him after the round, and I also played 36 holes with him earlier this year. And um, that's that's certainly not the case of what's happening. I mean, I think it's a little bit overblown, as, as Brandel puts it. But in, in the context of things, it's very difficult to 
adhere to certain technical aspects that you're trying to achieve as a player when you're hurt. I tried to do it. I couldn't do it. Tiger Woods is trying to do it, and he's having a very difficult time doing it. It's indicative of his play, and certainly I'm not making excuses, but at the end of the day, if you can't swing the golf club the way that you're intending to swing because your body won't let you, then the results aren't going to be the kind of results that but you what want. Would he, and what he's if, definitely not happy with how he played, and he's, I mean, having that sort of back pain is like having a toothache. It just, it's always there, and every little misstep, it kind of jars your body, and I give him a lot of credit for playing but he's certainly not playing the type of golf that he likes. But didn't he last week say the back was 100 percent I'm fine everything's good to go and his coach said the swing changes are spot on everything is pro progressing normally so I'm going to take him at his word when he began last week I, I'm, I'm not going to look at this week I'm going to look at Thursday Friday Saturday of last week before he heard his back on Sunday fair enough maybe he came back too soon but Thursday Friday Saturday last week he said I'm a hundred percent I'm forward in my progress I'm hitting my numbers I've had all the reps I need I'm a four months removed things are good I looked at that and then I also looked at his performance so it wasn't his back Thursday Friday Saturday of last week it was not it was not it was his golf swing his golf swing in my opinion is the reason he has a bad back and it's the reason that he continues to re-injure his bad back and the reason I'm telling you this is because it matters because Tiger's important to the game of golf I want to see him play his best golf yeah. I want to yeah, see yeah, it but, again. Yeah, but Brian, last night you showed a stat where the, the, the launch angle was lower back in 2007, 2008, and it's gone up. So if it goes up and there's more shuffling, that doesn't quite make sense. It does because he's adding loft to no, his no, driver, then, and the, he's going this then, way then it to would get show it up. up. It would show up in the angle of descent. No, no, no. No, it, no. Do, it does. You want to quote track, man, it would show up in the angle of descent. Also, no, when no, you go, his spine angle is going finished, back, so he's shoving forward. Yet. In 2008, it, and I will agree with you on this, he did have faster club head speed. It was 124 miles an hour. That's when he fractures the leg. The club head speed drops off. It actually went back up to 120 miles an hour last year when he won five times. Re-injures the back and His the club, club head speed, speed was not down. 120 miles an hour last it, it year. It was. Check the numbers. I do check the numbers. I've got them right here. His you club head speed was 117 miles an hour No, it was 120 hour miles an hour on the PGA Tour stats, which you can look at. So when you're injured, the miles per hour goes down. You get healthier. They go back up again. That's one. So are you telling me that he doesn't have more short forward shaft lean right now? No, I didn't say that. I didn't okay, say that. Okay, are you but, telling me that his loft isn't also exponentially higher? No, but it's still not high right, enough. You just said you can quote the stats. Have you looked at the stats? Have you yeah, seen what I his have. launch I angles have. are? I know what it is. If you his launch 100... angles are 12. Now, well, how does he have more forward shaft lean and a launch angle of 12 to 13 he now? He doesn't put his hands as far forward as what you're talking about, Brandel. Seriously, the, if you're going to talk the facts and if you want to go coach versus coach, you can't do it that way. You can't. Well, you let's can't... roll the video. We'll roll the video, and I'll bet you everything that's on this set and everything you yeah, own well, that his I, hands are I, exponentially I further than they were I am talking about injury first and, two... and foremost. You're trying to take an injured player. No, I'm not. No, I'm, you talking are, you, a player, I'm talking about a player who said he was healthy Thursday, Friday. Saturday of last week, and I don't. I'm talking about his so golf swing. So you personally believe he's healthy? Not right now. No. Okay, so, so but I, I believe that he was healthy so, Thursday, so Friday, Saturday last year. So I go back to my year. point. If he is not healthy, well, let's take a look here. Yeah. You want to tell me that he had this much forward shaft lean in 2000? In 2000? In 2000, he had that much forward shaft. Look at that. You see how steep that is. Now to get that online, you've got to aim. You've got to aim so far left to get that online. That's why he's very comfortable aiming left with his three wood because he's coming into the ball so steep. Now to get any sort of loft on the club when you're coming in with your hands that far in front of it, you've got to go back you, this you way. You can find Lee Trevino. You can find a hundred players. And what did Lee Trevino do? The reason Lee Trevino aimed left is because he came in steep. Lee Trevino did that intuitively. But, he did it empirically. Yeah, That's why Lee Trevino. Lee he's Trevino. trying to play like Lee Trevino right now, and he's not Lee Trevino. And oh, by the way, Lee Trevino had a bad back. Yeah, but, but you, one minute we quote Lee Trevino as one of the greatest strikers of the ball of Lee all Trevino time. had a really strong grip, a shut uh, face, and he opened yeah, up and drug it down the line. You can't manufacture something for the same for a different scenario. You can't pick a number here, low launch, and then go, okay, he's doing this. High launch, well, he's doing something else. No, the numbers that's are there. there. That's the, that, that's the numbers number. are there. No, well, the I, numbers I are there. His that. hands really are much that. further forward with forward shaft lane, no, I mean, and his launch angle's 13. You guys promised you're going to break bread tomorrow? No, the, the launch <laughs> angle isn't gonna, 13. Huh? His launch angle is 12.86. What, today? Okay. This year. 12.86. Okay, I'm going to check. I'll, I'll check okay. it later, but yeah. All right. Mm. All right.
No, we almost we almost had to come in from well, the locker room, like yeah. like pro wrestling, and just right over the top <laughs> rope and and break this thing up. Uh, Tiger, by the way, uh, needs a good second round. He hasn't broken par at a major in the second round in his last seven major championship starts.